Hello everybody, welcome back to the, another episode from the Multi-Tools and Blades channel. Today's episode we're going to have a look at a couple of folding utility knives by the company Superknife. But first we'll have a quick look at the sheath, which is an optional accessory. It's ballistic nylon, the velcro is not very good quality. I'd advise against the sheath, but it's probably best if you just pocket carry it. I'll talk about this little key here in a few minutes. It has an area here for some additional blades. You can see that the velcro is not very good on this sheath and it's brand new. Well the sheath might be rubbish but the tools definitely are not so let's start talking about them. So the Super Knife Company was purchased by Fiskars which owns Gerber back in 2005. And they re-released it under the Gerber brand with these chunky handles. And they can still be purchased for about $10 US. But we're going to be talking about the Unicorns, these old branded Super Knives. This one here is the very original. That one here is the second generation, and this one's the third generation. So this one here is the rarest of them all. This is the very first one, brushed aluminium handles. And this is the one that you want to put in your collection. Finding one of these in unused condition was a real challenge for me. And one of the first things to look for when you're hunting for one of these is the liner. As you can see here, the liner lock, it's very partial. There's a thin little cutout for the liner to go inside the handle. And this is only on the originals. So the second thing to look out for is this screw right here. So this is what actually holds the blade in place. And when it's screwed in, the blade is not moving anywhere. So these earlier models came with this little tiny keychain bit that has a Phillips on the top. You just take that out and that's how you swap the blades over. Nice and easy. I did read on one of the forums that these are a real pain in the behind. That's because if you're on a work site and you happen to take the, the screw out and you lose it, you're stuffed. So one of the first revisions that Superknife did in this spot right here, they put a spare screw that if you do lose the, the original, then you can just take the spare on out and use that. It's a bit of a band-aid fix, but uh, it was completely eradicated in the second version. So you can see here, there's a quite a quality little folding knife. They're quite comfortable too. So it's um, much better than having something like a more expensive knife, like a Benchmade or a Spyderco, and ruining it on boxes. And of course with maintenance, if you did have any problems with a bit of blade wobble or something, you use that little tool that they've provided with, you can just tighten everything up there. How easy is that? Well, Super Knife weren't finished there, so once they decided to make some more improvements, we were on to version 2. So while on the face value it looks exactly the same, customers were still complaining about the screw, so the screw is now gone. And the thumb stud has now been replaced by a little locking lever. So to release the blade, all you need to do is push down on that locking lever there, blade comes out. How easy was that? Back in it goes. Well, you're probably thinking that's game over, problem solved, but no, that just created a whole new problem for customers. All you need to do is when you're using the knife, you just touch that little button and the blade comes loose. Didn't have to fully un in disengage it, just a little tiny touch and boom, out it comes. The other major change that the version 2 had was the liner lock. You can see now that the liner lock is a full liner and it expands the whole entire width of the handle. I don't know if it was a major problem, but obviously it was enough for them to change the design. So other than those two major changes, there's nothing really different between the first and the second generation. Okay, so we're on to the third generation now. The first thing you notice is that it's larger in all dimensions. It's longer, it's thicker, and it's wider. It's worth noting that these were actually sold side by side for quite some time. But I think that has more to do with uh, product runoff. One major improvement is this deep pocket carry clip. And it's the first time that Superknife have actually marked it with the SK2. So it's officially the second generation. Even though it's the fourth of Orient. And the liner has been carried over from the last variation. Now why the head looks a little bit bigger, it's actually the same size blade. So it carries a standard utility blade. It feels so much better in the hand though, it really fills the palm. So another big change to the locking mechanism, now we just rotate this around, little latch folds up, 
and then we can remove the blade accordingly. Uh, problem is, getting it all back in is a real P-I-T-A. Alright, let's have another attempt then. Alright, in you go. Rotate. There we go. Alright, finally did it. So although this is the most comfortable out of all of them, I'd probably avoid that just for that locking mechanism. Unless you've got really big hands like me and you really need a deep pocket carry clip. I think the, the standard one's probably just the way to go. Oh, this one has a lanyard hole too. Sorry, I forgot about that. Well, that brings me to my fourth super knife that I own. This cute little baby keychain one. Now, don't let it size fool you. This is really a capable knife. It's very good quality. Instead of a liner lock, we've got this tiny little button there. You push a button lock and... Oh, it's going in. Hang on. Is it out? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I don't know why Super Knife would have brought one of these out, to be honest. I mean, I know that the little Spyderco ladybugs and that and the man bugs are really quite popular. But I just don't know where this kind of fits in with anything that came with my original one. So the two silver ones came together. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have purchased it. Now you can just attach it to any keychain through the, the last spacer. Personally, I think a spider curl ladybug does a better job though. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've really enjoyed this episode. You've learned a little bit about Super Knife. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want me to answer any questions. And I'll catch you all next time.